I'm Barbara Horgan from Boffins. This morning I'm talking with award-winning Australian writer Robert Drew. Rob's latest work is Swimming to the Moon, a collection of favourites from his regular column, The Other Side, which appears weekly in the West Weekend magazine. Welcome to Bo Boffins, Rob, and also welcome back to Perth. Thanks, Barbara. How many years have you been writing your column in the West Australian? Um, I think for five years, probably now. Um, it's gone very quickly. Every Wednesday, uh, I write it every Wednesday, I set aside a day to write it every week. And um, Wednesday seems to come around very, very, very quickly. I, I loved the <coughs> one two weeks ago about the cop speak. That was really good. <laughs> yes, where uh, wild becomes wild still, yes. and male individual is actually man. And yes. That, those things. No, yes. I, I can't understand why they do that. I, it, it struck me first as a young reporter that the same cops you've been talking to in the pub when they'd be talking like normal people, when they were in court or on television or suddenly lapsed into this strange, you know, Shakespearean, complicated speech pattern. Have you ever mentioned it to them to see what their reaction was or what their explanation was? Well, I was 18 then, so I didn't I mention, suppose, I didn't no, mention it. I suppose, no, you didn't feel, particular. yes. <laughs> um, do you receive a great deal of feedback from relatives, friends and readers in what you say? Um, in the column. In yes, the column. in the column, I receive yes. a huge amount of feedback from readers, which is terrific. Yes. Um, especially Perth and WA being the place it is. Everyone knows someone. There's, yes. no, there's no such thing as six degrees of separation no, here. That's it's, true. About, it's about one degree, and so people always know someone that they think is in the in the columns. Also, any, every time I um, write something to do with nostalgia, like if I mention a teenage writes a passage, like you know, first dates and that sort of thing, or um, or crawly baths in you know, places that no longer exist, there's always a huge amount of nostalgic feedback. Uh, uh, there are 51 articles in Swimming to the Moon. Do you have a couple of favourites? Um, I quite like... Uh, the, se the serious ones on um, uh, you know, various aspects of Perth I like, but I, I think the funny ones... Uh, yes. I, I, they yes, I certainly the, get more... The right tourist right. trips, like, I thought the it was hysterical. Trip, right. Yes, that was wonderful. <coughs> the that Corduroy was... Man, too. Yeah, that's true, yeah. Um, my favourites are the tourist trips, uh, the poignant obituary to a brown dog, which sort of you, you wrote as homage to your extraordinary dog, a dog mm -hmm. that you taught you, that you wrote about in Walking Ella that That's I read, right. and that brought back all the memories of reading that oh, book right. in, the, yeah. in 1999. It's, she must have been a Well, she was unusual. Dog. Well, she, she was beautiful and naughty, uh, and she lived till 17, which was extraordinary because she was so, she Such was a, a sort of dog. dog. Yes. She was a German shorthead pointer, and she never did the things that aren't supposed to be genetically imprinted on them. She never fetched, and she never came, she never did, she never healed. She didn't do any of that. She just tossed her head and go about her business. Um, and her sense of smell was so extraordinary that she could smell um, like a, a, a smell a, 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 a appeal for bad things like dead cats on the road or something like that. Gosh, um, there's also this uh, nostalgic statues. Um, uh, when we travelled to Perth by car and saw and and beside the amazing pipeline was sort of running parallel to the road, I thought of the drowner. Um, mm -hmm. You mentioned C.Y. O'Connor in your articles in Just Deserts and in Statues. Um, he's obviously one of your heroes. He was. Growing up, he was very much uh, a hero. He seemed to be... Um, everywhere you looked at, at WA history, he, he, you know, he designed Fremantle Harbour, yes. he built the railway system, he built, built the port system in the, in, a, in the coastline as big as Western Europe's. And he, of course, built the pipeline to come yes. building. So, I mean, he was an amazing, amazing genius, really. Yes, yeah, so it was just such a sad ending and... Mm. And, and the, the way he was treated, really, isn't it? Exactly. I mean, he, he was brought down by, by smaller people, mm. um, by, the, by the press of the time, and, um, and by um, rivals in Parliament. Mm. Um, why did you choose Swimming to the Moon as the final article and the title for, for the collection? Um, I didn't know where it was going to be placed in the book when I wrote it, but I yeah. wanted to... Swimming with my, my eldest son, who lives in Perth, um, brought back to me what it was like swimming with him or teaching him to swim when he was four and five. Yes. When he was a timid little boy. Um, didn't in want Sydney, to jump into the yes. water. In Sydney, yeah, mm. in, in the harbour. And, you know, that constant coaxing of a small child to jump into your arms, it'll be safe, it'll be okay. Um, and the difference between, and eventually did, of course, but the difference between that pale, timid little boy and, and this person I'm swimming with now, who laps me in about three, you know, about three minutes, he's lap, lapped me twice. And so it was sort of like a, just a, a passing of the generations. Type, yeah, and it was, it was, a, it was a, a, a sort of a conclusion in a way, wasn't it? Yeah, yes. exactly. Yeah. But also the Swimming to the Moon um, title, I mean, I obviously haven't swum as far as from here to the moon, <laughs> but I've swum, I swim every day. Yes. And I've swum in pools all in every city of Australia, many of them, and in, around the world. And I just thought if I added up all those 
two k's here and three k's there and so forth. It wouldn't be quite. It probably probably that from here to Kalgoorlie. Something yes. and it was interesting too. I had a little smile um, in in the, in that article with, about the the guy who who was wanted to, to swim in in the the, well, the teacher that had a, a grown man who wanted to, to swim in your lane, mm. um, and uh, and to and to watch him not be able to swim and to be able to swim twenty five meters. That it's, yes, it was good. It was very yeah. it was very moving really. I was watching I this hulking biker type guy who couldn't swim and was very timid and watching him make excuses to not swim, like saying the goggles are foggy or I need to go to the toilet or something, and the teacher persevering with him over a fortnight, and at the end of a fortnight he could swim 25 metres. Yeah, I thought and that, that was terrific. Was, and, that, yeah. and I felt pr you know, proud of him too, yes. of, the, of this stranger. Yeah, which is also an apt ending to the article and to the, and to the yeah. book as well, yeah, that's well. what I thought. So, um, so are you writing a novel at the moment? Or yeah, I'm in the middle of a novel. Yeah. Oh, good, mm. good. Look forward to it. Thanks, Robin. Thanks for coming in it's today. A pleasure. Take care. Thank you.